Hello, welcome to my channel, me and my jackets. My name is Chris. Hey, thanks for checking out today's video. I hope, uh, I hope it'll be something that you'd be interested in and help you out. I have a ton of videos here on this channel. If you're into all kinds of outdoor activities um, and you want to stay warm and dry and you're looking for a good jacket, you've come to the right place. Um, I have well over 100 videos here and to help you find your way through and find something that you're looking for, interested in, um, I have a whole bunch of playlists here that you can check out. Uh, playlists not only for each individual company, but also um, a playlist for hard shells, soft shells, fleeces, down insulated jackets, uh, um, you know, synthetic insulated jackets, a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, hopefully help you navigate around here pretty quickly because I do have well over a hundred videos here at this time. So, you know, please, you know, look through the playlists and if there's something specifically you're interested in, I hope you can find it. <laughs> so anyway, today's video, we are doing another video on Arcteryx jackets. This is um, a video about the cerium down insulated jackets from Arcteryx. So I have four different jackets here for you guys. Um, the Cerium SL, which is a little older uh, model, but it was a very popular one. And I'm hoping it will come back again, uh, you know, for the fall season. This is the Cerium Hybrid Hoodie. This is a really unique piece with a pretty specific use. This is not going to be your everyday jacket. So we'll talk about this one. We have the Cerium. This used to be the Cerium LT. Now it's just called the Cerium Jacket. Um, so we'll go over this one. And I have an older version of what's called the Cerium SV. And the Cerium SV um, is the heaviest um, and the warmest in the line. All right, so we're going to look at all these jackets and kind of see how they all fit in place. So let's start off with the lightest one. All right, this, as I said, was the Cerium SL. Now, this is very similar to this Cerium hybrid hoodie. Um, the difference is basically this hybrid hoodie is a combination of down and has some synthetic insulation in it as well, but also just very breathable fabric. So this jacket kind of has the warmth of this one, but adds a lot more in the breathability. So we'll, we'll go over all this here in a minute. So this jacket basically is an 850 fill goose down jacket, but it's a super lightweight. It's the lightest weight down jacket that Arcteryx um, has had. Um, it's a nice trim fitting jacket, super lightweight, super warm. So remember for these down jackets, the big advantage of down jackets is the warmth to weight ratio. Extremely warm and extremely lightweight. So <laughs> very packable. All right, this thing has a little stuff sack right here in the pocket. This whole jacket can pack down into this little bag here, and you can just hook it onto your backpack and go. Um, so really nice. So all these jackets, all down jackets, are known for their packability, lightweight, and warmth. Okay. Now, what down jackets don't like is water. They don't want to get wet. All right. If they get wet, all these little down feathers inside will clump up, stick together, and lose all their insulation value. So what makes these jackets nice and warm with all that down is that little poofiness. All right, all that fluff where the nice warm air can be trapped in between all those little down feathers. That's what keeps you warm. When they get all clumped and compact together, they're going to lose all of that fluff, thus not holding in any warm air. So it loses all of its insulation. So we don't want to get these wet. Now, all of these jackets do have what's called a DWR coating, a durable water repellent coating. That only means it can help to resist light, rain, and moisture. Um, if you're out in a heavy downpour, it is not waterproof. It's not going to stay dry. All right. 
um, eventually the water will soak through. But on a light rain, a light little drizzle, this will repel that pretty well, all right? Um, but that's just some basic information about down jackets. So the cerium here, like I said, is a super lightweight jacket, the lightest one that they make. It is a really nice fitted little hood. And I mean, just super awesome, comfortable, don't even notice thing is on, um, you know, for some mountain activities um, in, in the cooler weather, maybe not extreme cold, right? Because it is really lightweight. But in cooler weather, in the fall and the early spring, this is a really great piece. All right. So uh, also, just so you know, for all these jackets, I do have separate videos here on my YouTube channel on each one of these jackets. So if you want more information on either one, you know, either one of these jackets, you can certainly find it here on my channel. All right. So that's the SL. From there, let's just go right to this new hybrid hoodie. So this jacket is basically the same kind of 850 goose down that you find in the Cerium SL, but this adds Fortius Air 50 fabric, which is a super breathable fabric, all on the undersides of the sleeves, under the arms, down the front, um, across the bottom here and, and up the back, across the back here. So this jacket gives you that super down warmth but adds all that breathability. This fabric underneath here as well is also very stretchable so it adds for a lot of movement as well. So a great piece, but a specific purpose, right? If you're gonna be climbing, this is probably gonna be a great piece for you. It's gonna have that nice warm down insulation, but it's gonna allow a lot of venting and breathing in this jacket as well. So that being said, if you're up in a cold, windy environment, this will give you that warmth and breathability, but you might want a nice soft shell on top of this something like a Gamma Lightweight, a Gamma LT, you know, depending on your needs and how cold it is. But a nice soft shell on top of this will allow this still to breathe and keep you warm, but block some of the rain, some of the cold wind, you know, and, and just overall help keep you more comfortable. So definitely a really cool piece, extremely lightweight, nice and warm body panels with that down. It has a nice down insulated hood, um, but it does give you that breathability throughout the underarms, under the sleeves, and around the bottom of half of the jacket. So pretty, really unique piece. Okay. From there, we're going up in warmth. We're going up to the Cerium jacket, which this was once called the Cerium LT. It stood for the Cerium Lightweight. So this too is an 850 goose down, but it's got more down. It's definitely more puffy. It is a very fitted jacket, however, it's a very trim fitting jacket. And it's really nice because it kind of hugs you not too tight, but it kind of hugs you nicely and it keeps that nice warm down all around your body so there's not a lot of air in between you and the down, um, at least for me anyway. <laughs> now, just for uh, reference, I am six foot two, 215 pounds, and these are all size extra large. All right, so um, this is the Cerium Lightweight. So this is a really popular piece from our from Arteryx. This is the kind of mid-weight jacket in the down, you know, Cerium line. Um, this obviously is the non-hooded version, all right? Um, there is a hooded version as well, um, as well as with the hybrid hoodie as well. There is a, actually, it, it is, it's not a non-hooded version. It has a hood, but they have like a pullover version of that. Um, but this is just a great jacket for colder weather, 
to do just about anything. It's really versatile. Uh, I like wearing this. There's a couple different jackets I like wearing this under. Um, I have a Therm, which is a heavier weight winter jacket um, that's sized larger. This fits underneath it beautifully, and that combination with this and the Therm is extremely warm, and you know, the coldest winter weather, it's, it's awesome. Um, also, just a nice soft shell over this. Again, any of the gammas fit over this perfectly, really nice. Anything heavier than this, some of the soft shells start to get a little too tight. So this is about the limit that I like to wear with a soft shell on top of. A hard shell, not a problem. You can wear just about any hard shell on top of this, all right? Um, these two jackets, the SL and the Hybrid, have a little more room inside if you want to layer something lightweight underneath it. Um, this one is a little more fitted, like I say, said. So if I'm going to wear a layer, a lightweight fleece or something under this, it's, that's about all we're going to look at. Maybe a Kyanite LT or the Kyanite Lightweight, same thing. Or uh, maybe a Delta fleece. I wouldn't go any much more, anything more than that underneath this. All right. And from there, our final piece here is the Cerium SV. So the Cerium SV is the heaviest jacket in the line. Um, it too is an 850 goose down, but again, a lot more of it. Um, this particular model is a little bit older. They do have a newer version of the Cerium SV. Um, it's just summertime here now when I'm recording the video, and that jacket is not available right now. Um, probably will become available again in the fall winter line, but um, you know, in the summer lineup, it, it's not available. That jacket, however, is a little bit different than this one. This one is actually heavier. Um, the new one is a thousand fill down. This one is 850, but this one is definitely heavier and more poofy and um, warmer from what I've heard, from what I understand. Um, but this jacket, I'll just throw this on, you can see this, this is one of the warmest jackets that I own. This thing is, is incredible. Um, it is really a warm, puffy jacket. All right, so you see how puffy this thing is on me, okay? Um, it is a really nice fit. It fits great, but taking this thing outside in really cold weather in the winter, man, this thing is nice and toasty. It's definitely the warmest, um, one of the warmest jackets I have. Now, the reason why I say that, I also have a Nuclei SV. Um, from Arcteryx, which is also, it's a synthetic insulated jacket, but it's a heavy, like, belay jacket that's really, really warm. Now, um, I also had tested out and did a video on a jacket from Heli Hansen that was called the Polar Down uh, Verglass Jacket, um, or the Verglass Polar Down. That was a bigger puffier jacket than this, more of like a parka style. That was incredibly warm too. But the two jackets, this and that Heli Hansen Polar Down, were very similar in, in warmth, okay? So you have just about all the bases covered here. <laughs> From the super lightweight down jacket that <clears throat> maybe you can wear you know, spring and fall, maybe even some cooler nights up in the mountains in the summer, you know, if the temperature drops up high in the mountains in the summer, this is going to be a really great piece. If you're looking to do some high output activities and you need that warmth um, and breathability, we have the hybrid, the Cerium hybrid hoodie, right? The versatile, a little bit warmer, every day, do everything, go anywhere kind of jacket is the Cerium Lightweight. And then for your colder conditions and heavier warmth, the Cerium SV. Now, one thing I just keep in mind with this Cerium line that's pretty important, I probably should have mentioned it earlier, and I hope a lot of you guys are still watching so you don't miss this. 
the whole concept with this cerium line is for lightweight. All right, it is meant for lightweight, um, you know, activities. Now, the thing is with it, all their face fabrics, inside and outside on these jackets, are very light. They are not the most durable, right? Um, I mean, they're they're tough. They're not just going to fall apart and rip, you know. But if you're looking for something heavier duty, more durable, probably look at the Thorium line from Arcteryx, okay? Uh, the Thorium line is a little bit different than this, but these are meant to be worn as layers underneath shells, um, as insulating layers for lightweight, you know, mountain, you know, mountain activities. So uh, lighter face fabrics, lighter weight in general, overall, more packability than the thoriums, um, but uh, definitely, definitely really nice warm jackets. All right, so I hope that kind of gives you a little rundown of everything, and I appreciate your time. Uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, I definitely appreciate the support, and there's a ton of stuff here for you guys that I hope can really answer some questions, help you out and kind of guide you as far as what might be the right jacket for you. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you back again soon next time in another video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.